Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St James's Park. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Newcastle United taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates... So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Bruno Guimaraes plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And the striker today is Alexander Izak. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. And leading the line today is Diogo Jota. Here is how the Magpies are lining up. Number 22, Nick Pope. Number 5, Fabian Scar. Number 33, Dan Byrne. Thank you, St. James's Park. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Good looking sequence. He could pick out a teammate. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Nicely timed tackle. Gordon. Here's Isaac. Anthony Gordon. Oh, fancy footwork. Delivering it into the box. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. Diogo Jota. And he read it well. Now what can they do from here? Now well, they've lost the ball. Oh, a lovely ball. He's just got to continue his run. Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. Guimaraes. Oh, good vision. Keeper had work to do. Short corner taken. Tremendous block. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Luis Diaz. Now, who can he play it to? Well, disappointing end to the move. Wataru Endo. Newcastle in a potentially dangerous position. Veering in field here. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Possibilities inside the box. This looks promising. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, tremendous block. So, Bosloy. 
Oh, lovely incisive pass. And saved by the keeper. It's a short one, teammates in the middle, and a struggle to get it away properly. Shot up, in it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. So the action continues, and it's up to the Magpies to wipe out that last goal. And he stopped them in their tracks. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Could cross it in here. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. Delivering it. Terrific block. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. To make it 2-0. And confidently converted. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Nicely saved. Quite the catalogue of great saves. And that, the latest one. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. Newcastle regaining possession here. Virgil van Dijk Wataru Endo and the counter-attack is on options available oh it might be well it was so easy on the eye that counter-attack but no reward for them yeah it was all good until the final effort it just shows how devastating they can be on the break though a go oh that's textbook goalkeeping yeah. 
and the short option preferred. And a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. It hasn't come to very much. And no more time left. That will conclude the first half here at St. James's Park. Well, when Diogo Jota dominates, as he has been doing, you sometimes feel a bit sorry for his opponents. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. So the second half is underway and we're still reflecting on what was a dizzying performance by Liverpool in the first 45. Miguel Almiron, really good challenge. Gakpo. Jota. It needs an accurate cross. cleared away effective looking pass and no joy as far as the cross was concerned Isaac might be able to set up the chance Well, capable of so much better to be honest well I expected more as well Derek I thought from that sort of position he had every chance of scoring but it's a poor effort <laughs> Mo Salah now he must favour the cross. And foul it is then. And in the event, just a talking to, but could easily have seen yellow. He's got the right idea with that pass. But the flag goes up offside. Well, he just needs to play that a bit sooner. The pass was definitely on. And into the last 30 minutes now. Chance here. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Well, Liverpool have been dominant in every department. Just look how many chances they've created. They've been excellent today. Well, no let up. Plenty of pressure. Harvey Barnes, here's Isaac, and a timely intervention, Jota, Joel Linton, can they hit on the break, lovely ball over the top, Isaac, simple save really, Moving the ball forward with purpose. Almiron. Trippier. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful.
wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, perfect contact and a brilliant finish. Top stuff. So back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Coming off the pitch, number seven, Joe Linton, to be replaced by number 28, Joe Willock. Beautiful pass. Good looking sequence. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Delivered into the box. And an astute piece of defending. In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Looking dangerous here. Wonderful chance. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Well, the minutes are ticking away, Stuart. Newcastle fans are going to be disappointed about this. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents, but in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. The ball back with the Magpies now. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Harvey Barnes. Gives it a go. Body on the line. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Will it be? And he clears it out of harm's way. And he read it well. Wataru Endo. Here's Robertson. That's well blocked. 
Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. <laughs> and deciding to go short with this one. And there it is, the final whistle, and it ends in real disappointment for Newcastle in terms of the scoreline. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.